Hi and welcome back to part 2 in this series on how to play the lounge style and last time we did the right hand, today we're going to do the left hand. So uh, I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with your left hand. So first of all, when you play the lounge style with your left hand you do a lot of tenths. So you need to stretch a lot and uh, you can do very cool stuff with just playing tenths. So I'm going to show you a few things that you can do. I'm going to play it very very simple right now and uh, playing tenths as well as sevenths with my left hand. All right. Very simple arrangement. And uh, what I did was that I played with tenths in my left hand and I was playing sevenths as well. So this is built over this swell principle. So you play two five one progressions or two five progressions, then you go from a seven to a tenth to a seven to a tenth and so on. So for example, let's say I want to play a two five to, okay, we can do that in C. So let's say play on, I want to play a two five, which is D minor to G seven and then I'm going to play another 2-5, so it's going to be C minor. But you see that I'm playing a 10th and then going to the 7th. So that's the principle. 10th to 7th. 10th to 7th. And so on. Or you can do the opposite. You can go from 7 on the minor chord. So I'm going to play the D minor 7. Just two fingers. And then going to uh, G7. Where I'm not playing the 7 actually right now just playing the tenth but you could add the seventh as well uh, that's hard to do depending on the length of your fingers and then we're gonna go continue so it's a two five to C minor two five and so on Some of those are really hard to reach, I think. Anyway, we're using the tenth principle for this, so um, that's the swell principle. All right, moving on, I'm going to show you some arpeggios that you can do with your left hand. So you were playing, or I was playing, this tune. So what you can do is that you can play from C and then you can play G and then you move your hand up and you play E, A and D. So it's a C 6 9 as an arpeggio. And so on. And you can combine that also with your right hand, so you can play You can combine that by playing an arpeggio with your right hand as well. And that will sound like this. And the third and last thing I want to show you now for your left hand is what I call a response chord. And what that is, is for example, when you play a G7, then you play a, with your left hand, you play a G in the lower register, and moving your hand all the way up to a G7 in some sort of variation. And let's for now, let's do seven, third, and flat 13. All right, so it's, uh, that's why I call it a response chord, because you play first one note and you're responding with your left hand as well. So I'm going to show you that too. All right, so there you're adding the response chord after you play the root at the bottom. And again, when we combine all of these tricks with the left hand, 
it could come out like this. Once again, here is a summary. The left hand is an important hand, especially when you play the lounge jazz piano style. There is a lot going on for the left hand in this style. The key to play the lounge jazz piano style successfully is a flexible left hand that can cooperate well with your right hand. In this lesson, I've shown you three tricks that you can do with your left hand. First of all, you should play a lot of tenths with your left hand. The tenths gives a rich sound to the music and you can get away by only playing tenths and sevenths with your left hand. Also, I've shown you one example of an arpeggio that you can add to your left hand. And the third trick was the response chord where you add the root at the lower register and then respond with a rootless voicing in the middle range. And that was only three of many things that you can add to your left hand when you play the lounge jazz piano style. And there are extremely many other variations that you may want to work on to master the lounge jazz piano style. Not to mention the slow stride piano technique that I've been using in this lesson and previous lesson. But the key to success is not to get overwhelmed and trust that you will make it to if you stick long enough with the exercises. Now we are done with part two and in part three, I will show you the big picture of the lounge jazz piano style. If you want people to enjoy what you play, it is a smart thing to think through what you do when you play the lounge style. So in part three, I'll take you through how to do a lounge jazz piano job what kind of music you should prepare, and more. And in part four, I will show you other licks and tricks that you can add when you play this kind of music. So here's the thing. To get to see all of this, I created a free mini jazz piano launch style course. So to get your invitation, just click on the link under this video and leave your name and email, and I will send you the invite right now. Also in the free mini course, I've created several exercises that will make you able to play at least some of what I played. Again, it's all for free. And also, if you are already one of my jazz piano students, you can download even more exercises. If you like this video and want more, please hit like and subscribe and share. And again, take care of your left hand Take care of your music and take care of the launch style. See you in the course. Bye.